Inside an abandoned high school, preferably the East High School in Crooksville, and I'm getting ready to shoot the video. I mean, it's an awesome place. Little troll dolls and stuff like that. Little bar stools. God, could you imagine the lunchroom back in the day? Look at this. This is a high school, a fucking high school. Alrighty, so we got empty bottles, flat screen TVs. I don't know what this would used to be, but looks like a supply closet. It's coming, Crooksville Academy. I want to keep this. I'll take some of these. Oh, this must have been really abandoned. Because there's still events coming in from like ages ago that are left here. Wow. I'm behind the bar now. God, old bird feathers. Dude. Holy shit. If I'm starting to hear weird noises, I'm going to flip lids. It's a wooden wooden meat cleaver. You can tell this was once a little bit of a haunted house attraction. The bathroom. I just went in there. No need to kiss and tell. Hey guys. Hey. Feel better? I feel great. Okay, so this also looked like a bit of a, it might be a locker room or a shower room. Okay, so enter for if you're ready. I got a foam meat cleaver. And I'm not kidding. It's a, it's a bloody doll. Hi. Hi. Hey, there's a door open over here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Top floor. Okay. So I got my trusty foam meat cleaver. There's a vacuum cleaner. This used to, I guess this might have been a, this might have been a classroom of some sort. There's only one way out. Okay. Ouch. A whole lot of Hennessy bottles. Looks like another classroom. TV's out the ass. The only thing I'll take is the things that didn't belong in this school in the first place. God, there's a whole lot of old equipment here. And mason jars? Holy shit. Okay. Hang on. I'm still exploring this floor. Ugh, cushion. 
turn back. Okay, that scared the living piss out of me. Hey! Polo! Detention. Okay. Wow, this is wicked. Alright, heading up to the top floor. Okay, there's a door that can't get into, but you could possibly see some stuff. That's straight out of a fucking horror movie. Old bench work. Sounds like it looks like a 50s shack. The other ones all got tore down. There's a small urinal. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> so. Hey, I, I feel safe. I got a meat cleaver. When we told you Rich Regal out of Lancaster was in here doing art, this is this his. This is all from there. His. What is it? Modified studio? Yes, modified tattoos. And Lancaster is. This is his work. Wow. And the one lonely help. Help. I need help. Good hey, God. They got recipes for a microwave in here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had a microwave up here hiding it. I used to make popcorn up here. There's that one point where I'm going to be stepping, not stepping on glass. A urinal. Oh. Yeah, right here. That leads to the roof. That's the one that the pigeons flew out of when we Really? Cleaver. I think this might be a signature in our, in our hunting videos. Now I love I love that uh I love that lunch room. I've never seen something like that. It's got a it's got its own bar and everything. Yes, this, this is, is the BFW. BFW. Oh. Until it caught on fire, which the room below us, you will see all the charge. Um, this used to be the mirror maze. You come in that door, circle around, went out that door. No. Back. That door was blocked off. It was straight through here and, and then up. Straight through. And then you come up this way and circle around. And normally, I was right here. Scare spot. <laughs> Half. You. Right on the door. Right on the wood. Bank. Next it up. This was part of it. There's a scare spot here. Another one. Follow it out. I love the assortment of dolls. There was a doll room. Yes, this was, was a doll room. Doll room. Um, part of the mirror maze was also part of the doll room. Wow. And we had a little girl dressed up like a doll. And you would not believe the big, burly, scary guys that was scared of the little tiny girl dressed like a baby doll. 
That drops all the way through. I go by and not to try and climb. That was very Kleber. <laughs> I'm in a scare room, standing on top of a scare. Yes. So jump. Fred a scare. It's a jump scare. It's a Fred a scare. There you go. <laughs> we need to see if we can open it back up. God. Going down the steps. Now, where's these steps, lead? These are the back, back steps, the back hallway, um, or exit way out. Before. Yes, this is where we exiting. Well, after you look at the room, it's all charred up. So I'm, I'm taking them through the classroom first. This is the classroom. This is where we had. This used to be the clown room. Yeah, this used to be clown room, and then it turned into a classroom. And then it went from classroom to a nurse's station. This was where we put the projectors. We had projectors hidden back here so we could have everything up in the front parts when we entered and started to leave. This is our classroom. Did every classroom have a toilet? Yes, pretty much. Wow. You know, how, how can how can something be that advanced back in the day, and then us now, we don't have bathrooms in our classrooms? Like, like what happens if little, little, little Johnny needs to go to the bathroom and he doesn't have a hall pass? This was the zombie room, zombie cage, the zombie cage. Kick me. This used to be one of my rooms. I lay in here to say exercise. Are you serious? All the fucking cardboard cutouts. Right there. Oh, they're everywhere, dude. I see them in my space. That's the zombie room cutout. The rest of it's in there. I think the meat cleaver is an awesome hook. There's, there's, a, there's a root cage. I see that. We have one of those. For Wait. Halloween decorations. Oh. Cool. Yeah, we have the head and the wounds too. This is the room that burned. Yes. Look up. It's beautiful. Wow. When Rich made the video in here in the school, he came down because he was seeing pictures that we had posted. And once he got in here, it's like you can't make a set that looks like this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can't fake this. No. Wow. It's... Waterboy references. Charlie Daniels is the devil.
pick up sticks. Five, six. You know, when you, when you ladies are trying to be creepy, you even fuck up. sitting here with the TV with the white noise and mm -hmm. uh, straight jacket and rocking back and forth laughing his ass off with the TV. Yeah. The controller was 
not part of it, I promise. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it would have made sense to have a stroller in here with all the dolls and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, that was our kids' was grandbabies. Oh, there's still Halloween lights and... Yeah, there's chandelier. And i got to hand it to you gals. <laughs> right? I, I haven't been in here recently, but there's my rocks on hand. <laughs> I'm serious. My house's four Conehead was Jason, Pennywise, um, the, okay, the nurses from Conehead. Yeah. There was one of them right here. She would, like, dance in a straight light. <laughs> wow. Real human dance in a straight light. Yeah. But Conehead had his own stilts, made his own... He made it out of uh, plywood first. Yeah. And then he realized how heavy his cone head actually was. So he redid it in cardboard. Okay, okay. So that way it wasn't as heavy. Um, he had stilts like this tall. So when he come out of here, he was literally bending down. Because Duke was like this tall anyway. So with the stilts, him coming out of there with the great big huge sword... Yeah. <laughs> this is one of them things that I'm going to try to convince her to get the school back. But it's going to be, uh, give me a year, please. My kids have graduated high school, all three of them. I want a break. I've done car shows for the last five years. I did this for three years. I want to on. Five for me. Yeah. These guys will get awards. Have actual, have actual hard copy awards for their service during the shows. Um, the dash plaques that was left, left over from the car shows, the ones that come down and work the car show would mm -hmm. meet the people so they could actually see who was inside the school doing things. They would get a dash plaque to say that they was there. Uh, they have a big pizza party at the end of the year. Pizza party, we had sleepovers here and yeah. We're... I'm serious. We yes. used to have sleepovers. Yes, they would have sleepovers. People come in and try to scare them during the night. Wow. Pay scares. I would honestly love to do that, and especially in this environment. Yeah. Uh, it's... Okay, it's worth it just during... Around spring, we'd start cleaning up. So right now, we'd actually be halfway done building half the rooms. Yeah. All we'd have to do is bring in the animatronics and everything else. And close start to start up. Yeah, but it's too late in the season for me to do it. So next year. Maybe. Let's see what happens. I would love to. I would love to get Kathy. Wow. The boiler in there we used to climb inside of and actually lock the door. <laughs> yeah, there's not there's not one bad thing you've said about this place. This is this is I'm I, I, I'm speechless right now. You would love to come through on the night that we was open, on the night that everybody was here and working. Yeah. About the second week is when it was really everybody had their character, their act, what they were going to do. They actually had it all down. Wow. And the second weekend was always the best to be here. The scares were right on. People were in their spot right on where they were supposed to be. And it was a crew go through. Three minutes later, another crew go through. We'd come out with about 800. When I, we weren't even up to 800. We'd have about 300 people a night come through. Hey, honey. You can walk through that doorway right here and it leads you to where we're at. I went back in there for another second because I can't see you guys. This is the boiler room. Ouch. And boots on. This county, this is where Cunningham uh, was at. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, we do have to worry about him. I'm dangerous.
No, I think there's a window. Oh, no, there's some mirrors or windows. Mm. Windows. Windows. It's the window of opportunity. Right. Hey, I can't tell. Oh, okay. Green Mm hmm. No, I was just kind of wondering around looking. Uh, but as you the, see, people were not that big back in the day. Mm hmm. Now we got bigger. Yeah. <laughs> and these are not man made cobwebs. Yes. <laughs> Some of them. Not all. See well, let's not piss off the spiders that do live in them. That's inappropriate. It's a page just like, look. Oh, she got scared by a couple of cats. You missed it. Yeah, I had a heart attack, so. Was one of them male and gray? Yeah. I saw him come out. It was a cute little kitty. He was adorable. I tried to pet him. Somebody would come down the since it was dark, nobody could see. That's another bathroom. Just sinks in there. And the door. Yeah, I assume the door that went here. Mm -hmm. But my husband would stand here with a hammer. And when they'd hit the bottom of the steps or about midway on the steps, he'd bang, bang that motherfucker. Until I knocked it down. Oh. <laughs> this was in here before, and this yes. is like our cleanup. Everything that was trash in there, we just started pushing this way because we were supposed to get a dumpster outside to clean the room, but we tried to do it. There's still soap in the suspense. <laughs> no. -uh. It's hardened though. Oh yeah. I can't wash my hands. <laughs> so not haunted, not actually haunted. So, in conclusion, it's it's up in the air whether this place is haunted or not. You can smell food cook. In my personal opinion, I don't actually go to say the person that says that, but I don't. The walls, the concrete, the stone, the wood holds the energy that once was. So yes, you're gonna smell food around lunch. You're gonna hear the laughter of kids. Because they were here. To so go as far as to say it's haunted, I don't buy that garbage. But if it once was, it's always here. Alrighty. And that concludes this episode. We'll see you next time.